Hey guys, what's happening? It's T here for those Rock Punk and Metal album reviews, and we are back today, um, a, a little bit late. Uh, it's now April 22nd, and it came out March 27th. Uh, I had every intention of moving right along with my Shine Down discography to finish it off with the newest album, Amaryllis, which has uh, been out for a couple weeks now. Um, but, uh, like I said, if most of you caught my, uh, you know, posts and things like that I made. I had some, uh, you know, some personal things to take care of and things like that, but we're back. I know I, uh, it's, in case any of you missed it, I put the Eve 6 pre-order uh, special bundle unveiling yesterday. And if you check on uh, a little bit later on, there's going to be the actual Eve 6 speaking code album review, so be sure to check that out. Um, right now we're here to talk about Shine Down Amaryllis. Right there it is. Sorry about the glare as always. Let's see the red light. I know you probably can't really see the back of it very well. There it is. Show the inside. The inside's really neat. It's got the amaryllis bloom. You know, it's really cool. Get an insert in there. Um, like I said, released March 27th. Uh, Atlantic in the U.S., Roadrunner everywhere else. Um, I know it debuted at number four on the Billboard 200 stuff like that so pretty good it's the highest charting uh, album to date um, first of all let me just say awesome I really enjoy this album um, I've noticed a lot of people have uh, compared it to uh, the sources of like uh, Nickelback and somewhere along that line well I'm gonna clear the record straight right now they're nowhere like Nickelback and that's just the way I think is you know I like Nickelback, don't get me wrong, but don't group them with Nickelback because it just doesn't really fit. I know they sound more mainstream now and they're trying to do more radio-friendly singles than ever, but you know, if it you know if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, that's my opinion on that. I want to get that clear already. Um, comes with 12 tracks. I actually uh, got the uh, pre-order package with the t-shirt and the signed screen printed poster. Um, I didn't post the video. Maybe I'll do that in the future for a little add-on for the channel um let me give you a rundown of the tracks here adrenaline bully current single awesome single amaryllis unity enemies i'm not all right nowhere kids miracle i'll follow you for my sake my name wearing me out and through the ghost and uh unity i believe is the uh, second single right now i'm not sure i haven't really looked on it in a little bit yet but uh another really great meaningful song Bully, as I said, I had a single review on my channel. You can check that out. I call it the Rock Anthem of 2012. Um, I still stand by that. It's a very good song. It has a lot of meaning. I know the Bully songs are becoming more and more common these days, but, you know, it's good anyway. Um, and then you got the, another one of my favorites, My Name Wearing Me Out, F-Bomb Riddled. You know, Brent Smith just kind of belts out the F-words in this one a little bit, but it's all good, you know. It's, it's neat. Uh, I'll follow you really good. I'm not alright is awesome. Amaryllis, you know, the, the use of the orchestra on this album, there's plenty of orchestrated um, pieces in with the music and it all blends in with uh, Brent Smith's soaring vocals, you know. And then you got uh, the, you know, the good drums, the not so killer as they were on Sound of Madness guitar riffs, but still killer all on its own, right? <gasps> Excuse me, uh, but. Uh, Overall, it's a really good album, uh, Amaryllis. I'm, it's a, it was long awaited, I guess, sort of speak, considering Sound of Madness came out in 2008. And you know, 2008 into 2012 is a pretty big gap, but they did have the uh, Somewhere in the Stratosphere 2 CD and 2 DVD set that was released that I might do uh, a review on that in the future or something to that nature. But overall, I'm, I'm really happy with the album. I, I think they did a really good job on it. Um, I bought me an extra copy that is sealed. You know, not this one. This one's my open one. But the one that actually came in the mail with the, the rest of my stuff, that's uh, sealed. I'm going to keep it sealed, you know, for, for good keeps, good measure and stuff. But yeah, um, you know, Adrenaline and Enemies, you know, they're just that... The album kicks off with adrenaline, it's fast paced, enemies fast paced. You know, it, it's one of, another one of them classic albums where it goes, you know, it's uh, slow and then it tones it down a little bit and then it gets really slow and then it's right back up again. 
there's a perfect blend of rock and slower harmonies and anthems and stuff like that in here really good album though guys um, I would uh, I guess I would say I'd have to give this uh, album probably a uh, 9 out of 10 album review can't score it perfect there's not very many albums that I can score perfect um, there is a few th I mean there could have been a little less slower anthems on the album and that's why I graded it a 9 out of 10 but as far as you know my opinion and where I stand on I'm going to give this an official those rock, pedal, rock metal and punk album review uh, channel I'm going to give it an official stamp of 9 out of 10 um, review so overall really good album guys shine down Amarillo's go check it out um, you will not be disappointed. I know a lot of people think, okay, Shine Down's changing now. They're just more concerned about the mainstream. If you watch the behind the scenes videos, I know you can get like the For Your Sake on the iPad. Um, that's a lot. It's not the case. They're not trying to be radio friendly. They're not trying to be poppy. They're just trying to be Shine Down. They're making good music, and I think they're doing a damn good job of it. So. Keep doing what you're doing, boys. Shine down. Amaryllis, 9 out of 10 album review. And we'll see you. Uh, stay tuned on the channel. Plenty more shit to come, guys. Zen vlogs, collection vids, reviews, of course, more discographies. Plenty more heading your way. Peace out.